going on everybody? It's Kevin Redline. Just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, it's not going to take that long, but uh, Engraven posted a video today and it was titled, I believe, How Much Will the Ravens Offense Evolve Under Greg Roman This Year? And uh, I commented and I mentioned that, hey, Greg Roman really needs to step up uh, his play calling in the passing game. And he has to be more creative in the passing game. Can't be so predictable. And somebody said, despite all of that, despite, you know, Lamar running and not having the greatest passing stats, he still wins. And normally, I would be right there, you know, in the same, the same mindset. But one thing I noticed in that Bills game, and this is something that we all take for granted for Lamar, is his motor. That guy can run all game and still, you know, still make passes. You know, think about all the yards that he's accumulated that weren't positive yards, so they aren't counted. The times he he he's he's almost sacked, but he runs right, runs left, and then gets rid of the ball. And some of some of which aren't even completed passes. They 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 result in nothing. But yet he still keeps it going. He still goes out there and still gives it it all, gives it his all. Um, that game, I'm gonna say about midway through third quarter, he looked like he was like out of it. And despite having that look on his face, like look physically, uh, when he threw that interception, he still chased the guy down. Granted, he didn't get the tackle, but he. My point is, is that he looked physically tired. Uh, with everything now, this is the perfect opportunity for Greg Roman to step up, step up his play, his situational play calling, uh, being more creative in the passing game, and this is Lamar's opportunity to continue to prove everyone who's ever doubted him wrong. Because at this point, all they say is, oh, Super Bowl can't throw. Even though he's proven that he can throw, that that that's that's the narrative that people drive. But this is this is his opportunity to shut that up. And I hope he I true I swear I hope he does. But right now is nothing against him at this point. Is uh he he has the prospective weapons now with the draft picks. Uh, he has Sammy Watkins, and like I said, like I said before, you know, we, we, it, he has plenty of options now. Oh, he's going to have plenty of options once the season starts. Um, but I'm interested in seeing where where this goes. Um, I'm excited, but let me know what you guys think. Am I am I reaching with this one? Do you guys think of, you know, ha has it been in the front of your mind how often he runs and he still, every play he's still giving it his 100%? Yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm glad we have a quarterback that can and will do that because, you know, we could be in a way worse position. But hey, let me know what y'all think. I appreciate those who corrected me in my Tyree Phillips video. Let me tell y'all, I recorded that video out of rage. I, you know, I, I'm not an X's and O's guy. I, I have no problem admitting that. And I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. So everybody who took the time to comment, you know, some was, you know, nice about it. Some not so much. Hey, I appreciate it. We all Ravens fans and we all love our team. So when, when somebody's wrong about them, you correct them. So, hey, I appreciate that. I thank y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, about Lamar's motor and that being to me one of the most underappreciated things this is going to be a different Ravens team and I'm excited let me know what y'all think I'll holla at y'all